quite a crowd here. I've been listening to that thing from the Baltimore Summer and Tick Show. This is my mind going way back. Several hundred people here. It's Saturday shortly after opening, and it looks like it's going to be a good crowd today. Yesterday, Friday, was quite busy. This is my booth, and already you can see there's quite a few people. Uh, David Kozlov from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, we had a decent show. We were um, not optimistic coming in here, but everything seemed to go well. Maybe the show being a little smaller made it a little easier to sell. And that's all oh, I have. Hedrick, Iowa. Another good Baltimore antique show. One of the best in the country. Did well every day and, and look forward, looking forward to coming back next year. Thanks, Steve. Hi, I'm George Sorensen from George Sorensen Antiques. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm here at the Baltimore Antique Show, just finishing up on Sunday. And the show has been about how it was last year. Uh, attendance has been good, and sales have been probably like they were last year, with a mix of French glass and American glass and a little bit of everything. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. My name is William Eisen. I'm from the Great Dane Collection in Philadelphia, PA. Um, it was a great show for us. We sold a lot of stuff. They had thousands and thousands of people come through. It was one of the best attendances I've seen in Baltimore over the years, and it was a wonderful show. Thank you. Ido Ophir from Ophir Gallery in Englewood, New Jersey, exhibiting here at the Baltimore Antique Jewelry and Art Show. Had a wonderful fair selling all across the board. Met new collectors and sold some really great pieces. Thanks. Hello. Thank you. This is Sandra Butler. Our business is Butler and Butler from uh, Sarasota, Florida area. Uh, we've been doing this Baltimore show for probably 25, 30 years maybe. It's grown. It's become a very nice show. We've had a very decent show this time, so we're quite pleased with it. Thank you. Okay. Xavier Excelsior Art, Nancy, France. It was a very friendly show. First time for me. Um, feel good deal, not enough, but um, many interesting people, and uh, I expect to be there next year. That's it. My name is Bob Kaplan. I'm the owner of Robert Kaplan Antiques in Palm Springs, California. I've had my store there on Palm Canyon Drive for 30 years. What was your show here, Bob? Um, the show here was, to say, disappointing. Um, uh, each year in the past couple of years has been, for, for me, has been declining in sales. I'm sorry to hear that. I also heard that the possibility you may not come back next year. Is that true? Uh, that is true. Um, it just, uh, it's not good to lose a lot of money, and that seems to be what we're doing right now. Well, I hope you change your mind. I hope you uh, come back. Look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you, Phil. My name is Jeff Myers. I live in Chickaloon, Alaska, and this is my 31st year of doing the show here in Baltimore. You know, Thir I've been doing this show so many years, I have no idea what year I'm in. Well, good for you. 30, 31 years. Uh, and of course, I started as a baby. But anyway, um, the show is still a great show. Um, the, the amount of dealers we've had um, over the years has slowly decreased some but the show promoters are really trying to do the best they can and we actually have had a great crowd over the weekend. Um, we're looking forward to the show next year, um, but don't miss it. It is the most, the best show on the entire East Coast. Um, so I hope you can come next year. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Primmy, and I own the Best of France Antiques in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. We just finished up the Baltimore show and was probably one of the best shows we've had in Baltimore for over three years. We primarily sold a lot of turn of the century garden sculpture that were delivering all across Virginia, Maryland, and the Eastern Seaboard. We sold 19th century bronzes as well, and just really had a terrific show. You see all the uh, sold pickups and everything. 
we have to deliver everything now. That's the hard part. That's it's not an easy business for us. Some people have a silver dealers or art glass dealers and they put it in a little you box. You mean like me? Well, I'm not talking against you, Phil, <laughs> but we have to actually work to get it to Thank the customer. Goodness, I don't have to lug these things and deliver them. <laughs> I don't blame you because we don't want to do it either. But we, we, this is what we do and we had a great show. I'm really happy with the promoters here and Baltimore for having such a wonderful show. Great, glad to hear it. Take care. Thanks. Thanks. Philip Chasen here. I get to go last. It's my blog, my video. I get to go last. So we had a pretty good show, very pleased. Walking around speaking to the other dealers, most of the dealers were pleased, not everyone, uh, as you can see from the recording. But uh, we're very pleased, and unfortunately the show got a little bit smaller, and I got my fingers crossed that it's not gonna continue to get smaller because once it gets too small, the promoter can't afford to keep the show open. So we need you to come and visit the show and buy something from the dealers, make the dealers happy, more dealers will wanna come, and the show will start getting bigger rather than smaller. So thanks for listening to my uh, video blog and continue to read my blog. Take care.